Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to make a wind spinner and I'm also going to install this free 18 inch shop fan that the folks over at New Air sent me to keep me cool this summer. And they also gave me a 15% off discount code that I can give to you guys. A wind spinner is a really easy spring and summer project that you could probably make using the scrap wood that's lying around your shop. It's fun to hang them under a covered porch and watch them twirl in the wind. I'm going to be using a 36 inch threaded rod and I need an inch at both ends. So I really need to fill up 34 inches of the rod uh, with some sticks of wood. So I'm going to be cutting strips that are half inch by three quarter inch thick and then 10 inches long and I think I need about 70 of these. So let's head over to the table saw. All right, I've got all the pieces cut for the wind spinner and I had a few left over. I used cherry and a couple of different boards of pine that had two different shades of color. Uh, so between them all, I was able to put together this cool alternating pattern along the length of the wind spinner. And toward the ends, I cut some of the longer pieces down into shorter pieces uh, to give it kind of a taper toward the end. And doing that extended the length of the wind spinner. Uh, so I have just enough to fill up this 36 inch rod with an inch sticking out at each end, which is perfect. So now I just need to drill a hole in the center of each one uh, do a little light sanding and since it's going to be under a covered porch I'm just going to spray it with some spray lacquer uh, to give it a little protection. While the finish is drying on those pieces, I'd like to thank NewAir.com for sending me their WinPro 18 inch fan to try out and also for giving me a 15% off code that I could give to you guys. This fan can be hung from the ceiling, but I rotated the sticker and mounted it onto a wall stud with a single lag bolt so I can tilt it in any direction. It has a six foot cord, so if you mount it above an outlet, the cord should reach. It does include a bag of mounting hardware and a pull chain extension, but I made my own rockin' pull chain. I like that it has three speeds and it moves a lot of air in the shop. It creates a great breeze, plus it's quiet and it doesn't take up any valuable floor space. If you need a good sturdy fan to keep you cool in the shop, visit newair.com at the link in the video description below and enter my promo code STEVE at checkout for 15% off. Thanks again, New Air. Let's get back to the project. I'm going to use one of these fishing barrel swivels to hang up the wind spinner. So I need to flatten two sides of this threaded rod and drill a hole. But first I'm going to go ahead and thread on this nylock nut down about an inch or two. I used a straight edge to draw an outline that I can cut over on the bandsaw to cut off the jagged edges. And in the middle, it's kind of an hourglass shape, which should look pretty cool. This fishing swivel is rated at 20 pounds. And yeah, that feels way less than that 20 pound bass I caught on my last fishing trip. <laughs> hey look, there just happens to be a hook up here. Now I just need to turn each piece so that the corner meets the side of the next piece. Well, 
let's go outside and test it out. Maybe not. Hey, I have an idea. That was pretty cool. If you like this project, please click that like button and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you think of the wind spinner. If you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button for more fun woodworking videos like this one. And don't forget, if you're interested in a new air fan, uh, check the video description below and use my promo code STEVE at the link below in order to get 15% off. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.